All right. Um, so for number 11, guys, remember when we're subtracting or adding polynomials, the main important thing you guys need to understand for this, Trevor, is that you can only add or subtract when they have like terms, meaning they have the exact same base or they and, I'm sorry, not or, they have the exact same base and they have the exact same exponent. So if I'm looking at this, the one thing I notice is I have an x cubed. Do you guys see an x cubed anywhere else in this problem? No. So I cannot combine this x cubed with anything in the problem. This x cubed is going to be my final answer. Then the next one is I have a negative x. And remember, that's to the first power. Is there any other x's that are to the first power? Maybe? Yeah, this one, right? And then the last one is I also have two different numbers that I can do. All right? And the two numbers, obviously, we know those are like terms because they're both numbers. So one thing I want to do for this problem is I like to guys kind of write you this one. Did I go through this one last time with you guys? No? 7 minus 4. Does anybody remember how we can always write a subtraction problem as an addition problem? Did I? Yeah, right? 7 plus negative 4. Right? And we can do that with this problem as well. Instead of writing this as if you all you do is change it to an addition and make that subtraction or make that a negative. So you got to make that a negative, but you got to make this a positive. You're actually going to take the opposite sign of it, Trevor. So I have x cubed minus x plus 1, now plus a negative 3x plus 1. And what I'm simply going to do, what I'd prefer to do, I'll just leave these in kind of their exponent form. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to line them vertically over each other. So I have x cubed minus x plus 1. Plus, the plus sign goes right here, plus what terms I have here. Well, remember, I can only add this negative x, the x's together, or I can only combine the x's together. So I'm going to put the negative 3x under the negative x. And I can only combine my numbers together, so I'm going to put the 1 under the other one. And since it's positive, it's going to be plus 1. So you guys see how I put the negative 3x below, and I have the x cubed minus x plus 1 up top. Does everybody see that? The main important thing that you guys need to understand is I change it from a subtraction to a positive, and then I change the signs. So now I can add them. And all I do is, again, there's nothing x cubed, so x cubed remains my answer. Negative x plus a negative 3x is a negative 4x. 1 plus 1 is 2. None of these are like terms. And there you go. Got my answer. Okay.